Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining, uh, for, for, for having me join you today. Um, I just wanted to start with Tanya. Uh, very specifically, I understand it was you who really made this project come to life, and I know it's been a, it's been a long, hard road uh, getting it here. Uh, what was the spark for you? When did you know that you wanted to bring Trece to, to the big Well, when, when I read it, I didn't know if it was going to go global, but I read it and I knew this was like a work that was really ripe for adaptation to like a screen, whether it was big or small. So the stories were, for me, having grown up in Manila, you know, the city and the setting are familiar, the mythology is familiar, but the way they put it together and, you know, just Tressa herself was such a great character that it was, I knew it was special. And when I brought it to my producing partner, Shanti Harmayan, and we both agreed, like, this is something we wanted to work on. I understand that you very specifically loved uh, the third book. Is that, is that true? I actually started with the third book, not looking at the spine, seeing that there was a one, two, and a three because the third book had come out. And so when I read it, it was perfect because it was the origin story. So yeah. I was like, it gave me a better understanding when I did end up reading one and two. So yeah, it was it was like, oh, okay. I told Budget, Budget was like, you read three first? I go, that was three. <laughs> 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 and therefore, you knew very specifically that it would, to do this show, you're going to have to do the third book. Right? Yeah, you know, it was going to be part of it, you know, a sort of like that bigger arc for Tressa. Jay, it's it's great to, to finally talk to you. I, I just wanted to know, I know you've worked on things like The Legend of Korra, so you are no stranger to working on things, you know, animated series with Asian representation. But unlike something like The Legend of Korra, this is a very specific Asian culture, very specific to you. Uh, what does it feel like to you to be bringing this property to life in terms of its cultural and personal significance? I think for me, it was a dream come true in a sense that I never thought I'd ever work on a Filipino property in my career. I mean, let alone being at this position in my career. Um, so it, it's a little bit, it's funny because again, I've worked on Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, all these kind of things that like, you know, for any other artist or filmmaker or whatever, it'd be a dream come true. But working on this is... It, to me, it's a little bit more special just because this is something that, you know, it's, it's, it, it's a story of my, of my family, right? So the culture that I came from, you know, my parents immigrated here in the 60s. So I was the very first person born here. My brother and sister were born back in the Philippines. And so I never really had the connection. The Philippines and Manila was always this exotic place. So, and, and when I did finally visit, we, I was in the province, right? I was in Bicol. So it wasn't until like I, 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 I toured the city with Tanya and the writers and we went to La Balete Dry and all these different places that, you know, I feel I really got a good flavor of what Manila was like and, and trying to kind of look, you know, connect the romanticized version of it that I grew up with and these stories about the Tikbalang and all these uh, other like Duende, you know, st stories that my parents told me and, and connecting it, seeing these locations. And then of course, reading the comic and, and really trying to figure a way, okay, how do I capture this in such a way that, that me not being a local there trying to capture. So that way, you know, if you watch it, you would think that we, we really made Manila a character, which is one of the things I really wanted to start from the very beginning is make Manila a, a real city that that's alive and breathing and well and then you've got the underside when you do the supernatural stuff and that's one of the things that i really wanted to like really touch upon well if i may i'm, I'm just going to tell you that you know i grew up reading marvel comics marvel new york and everything so new york was always this exotic place to me so mm -hmm. seeing manila in a show that vividly is kind of surreal and awesome so awesome. that was that was great kajo uh, uh you <laughs> Uh, obviously uh, created the the look and feel of the characters the entire comic what is it like seeing your work translated to animation it is weird <laughs> very <laughs> weird up to now up to now it, it hasn't sink in yet I, I told everybody that maybe it will be real to me if it's if it's on tv if i'm if it's in front of me so, uh, as for now it's it's uh, it's great it, 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 but it's really weird because I had to ask myself, is this the feeling of having your dreams actually come true? And uh, it's a weird feeling, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you think it, it does it does your work justice, Kaja. It's, it's great. It's, it's yes, awesome looking. Yes, yeah. yes, very nice, very good. Budge. Hey, Budge. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to talk about, Louis. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, no, I mean, in the time since we last spoke, there's been this incredible marketing campaign with, uh, you know, the billboards and everything and billboards getting vandalized in Manila. It's super meta. What, what, how do you how do you react to all of this going on? Like some people think they're actually getting vandalized for real. My, my mother thinks it got vandalized for real. You know how big um, the spray paint would have to be to be to vandalize that billboard. Well, a gigante can reach a billboard. Not might not fit a banyo, but it could reach a billboard. Um, no, I, it and and my my one of my friends just texted me and said and showed me the Manananggal, you know, uh, dash cam clip and said, you know some people will believe this is real. <laughs> there are some people in the Philippines who are going to go, makita mo to? <laughs> may aswang talaga. Sinabi ko sa'yo, may aswang. <laughs> I don't know. We're kind of perpetuating the thing that inspired the book in the first place. So someone somewhere out there, you know, I'm sure like 10 years from now, someone will go, alam mo yung lolo mo nakakita na aswang <laughs> sa CCTV. It, it, it will all come back to haunt us someday. But yeah, I mean, it's great that the Netflix team came up with such a great way to, uh, to, pro to promote the show. And as Jay said, it's making Manila the third character. It's making Manila, which, be, you know, which was the source of all of this inspiration, come to life. Uh, because the next thing that we could have done was we could have had Liza Soberano running around <laughs> in the jacket and fighting a swan on the streets. Well, we can't do that. Maybe not yet. Who knows? Are you, are you sure? You can't. Let's, wait. <laughs> Let's see what happens in a couple of days. Yes. Um, but there. So, so I think it's a great way to to tell the story or get people to, to, to make them aware of this is threat. You know, they've made Manila, Treses Manila is what they've done. Yeah, last last question. Um, for This is uh, for all of you actually, like really quickly, is there anything in particular in the from the books that you haven't adapted that you would like to adapt in season two? I, I mean, that's kind of spoilery. <laughs> That's a trick question to make us reveal what's happening in season one. <laughs> it just means that it, it won't happen in season one. Well, you should find out. <laughs> <laughs> we laid a lot of groundwork in that first season, so there's a couple of Easter eggs and things that we're alluding to for later seasons, hopefully. It's, it's, a, it's a great series, guys. I'm very, ha very happy for all of you. Thank you so much. Really, thank, thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you very much. much.